what's up guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to create a verification system for your server with captcha with scratch for discord if you don't know what scratch for discord is it's a platform that you can use to create a discord bot with drag and drop blocks and it's really easy to do so if you want to create your own scratch for discord bot make sure to watch the first two videos on this channel to get started and make sure to watch the rest of the videos on the channel to learn how to become a pro at scratch for discord coding so for this video i'm going to be using preview 469 i think this is the first time I'm using it and I also haven't posted it in a long time. I'm gonna try to post more frequently now. I used to post like every few weeks or like at least every week but I haven't posted it in a long time since the last video but hopefully I can try to upload more frequently now. So click on open scratch and I already have um, a pre-build saved to show you guys. So so how we're gonna do this it's gonna be like a command so i have three channels here in the verification role the person is gonna type dash verify and then it's gonna send a captcha and if they get the captcha right then they i have some roles so the unverified they should get it when they join the server they won't actually get it when they join the server but ideally in an actual server this is just a test you would get the unverified role automatically and then if they get the captcha right then it automatically removes the unverified role and adds the verified role instead and if you look from the verified the unverified role point of view it's on my alt account my alt account has the unverified role and it can only see the verification but if i remove the unverified role and add the verified role then it can it can't see the verification channel but it can only see the other channels but i'm gonna remove it for now because we're gonna be testing it so make sure you have your roles set up like that just make sure that the verified role can't view this channel but the unverified role can and the other channels make sure verified role can view it and unverified role can also if you get like an error that says something like missing permissions make sure your bot's role is at the highest or I mean, if not at the highest, at least above the both the verified role and unverified role, and make sure it has permission to manage roles over here. Mine doesn't have permission, but it already has admin, which gives it every permission, so that's no problem. Because if the if your bot's role is below them, then it, it won't have permission to assign these roles. So let's get started. Um, make sure you have this block with your bot token, and here's the command. So when a message is received if message content starts with dash verify and we're going to be checking if the id of the channel of the message is this and this is just the id of this verification channel because that's that should be the only channel that they can run the command in and these captcha blocks you can get it from the joe's category and then the captcha category so you're going to create a new captcha and then use this block send in channel captcha and then put this block capture image and then we're gonna use a forms block this is this is what they're called so it's gonna send this is the kind of like the directions so send the characters you see in the image to prove you are human and capitalization won't matter and it's gonna wait in the channel message channel from message member and in one for one minute and then when the, when they answer the question if the answer of member to uppercase is capture value and the reason we're making it to uppercase is to make it so that the capitalization doesn't matter like we said over here because the capture value is going to be all uppercase so it's going to be converting the answer to uppercase and seeing if that version is equal to this so if it is equal to the capture value then that means they got it right so it's going to send a quick message here great job you passed the verification and you can you can customize these messages however you want and i will also have these this file in the description if you want to download it and it's going to say assigning the verified role in three seconds and then it's going to wait three seconds add role get the role with the name equal to verified on the server message server to the message member and it's also going to remove the unverified role from the message member and then after another one second, it's going to purge four mess messages just so it's more cleaner. All of the messages in total should be about four because of the command, the image, the form, and the reply. And then we're going to add an else in here. And in the else, that means it's incorrect. 
they didn't pass the verification so i'm gonna reply that's incorrect do the command again to try again and then after one second it's gonna purge four messages again and then in the whole thing if there's no if they don't even answer it within one minute then it's gonna say you weren't verified because you took too long to respond and lastly in here if the id of the channel of the message is not equal to that then it's gonna reply you can't do that command here please go to this channel to verify yourself and this is, this should mention the verified channel and that should be it for the coding part now you just have to go to file you can download the whole thing if you don't have a rebel saved and then make create a new rebel you probably know the process if you've watched other tutorials or if you already have a rebel setup you can just go to file export to javascript and then just Control a to select all the code copy it and paste it all in your bot.js file my files might look a little different to you you might not have boot.js or you might have it and one error to note is this i marked it line 59 it should be it might be line 59 for you or wherever it says this wherever it says let captcha equals new captcha you can do Control left to search it let captcha equals new captcha and then uh, by default it doesn't add a semicolon here a semicolon in javascript kind of just ends the code ends the code line and if you don't add that then it will get an error it's gonna say intermediate value is not a function so b because we're sending this so it thinks it it's trying to think that we're going to put this over here because we didn't end off this code so it kind of gets messed up so that's an s4 debug just so just make sure to add a semicolon at line 59 or wherever it is for you so just click run and everything should start like it's supposed to and i'm gonna go on my alt account i currently have the ver unverified rule so let's just pretend i joined the server so i came over to the verification and the first one i'm gonna get it wrong on purpose just to show you that what it will do so if i do dash verify so i'm just gonna say test and it's gonna say that's incorrect and it's gonna purge the four messages and if i do it again this time i can get it right i'm gonna say uh u j v e v z and it's gonna say great job and after three seconds it doesn't show over here because i don't have access to it anymore but if I go over here, you can see that the message is purged after 4 seconds. And I also don't have access to the verification channel anymore. And if I try to do the dash verify command in another channel, it says you can't do that command here. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something. And comment down below what videos you guys want me to do next. And also make sure to join my server Scratch for Discord World if you have any errors if you need any help coding your bot or if you just want to chat in general so make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video